This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Pull the bonnet release latch located on the passenger side kick panel and lift the bonnet safety latch and raise the bonnet upwards. Remove the battery cover by releasing the side retaining clips. Warning, the negative battery connections are close to exposed battery positive connections. Use extreme caution to avoid the spanner from shorting on the positive cable whilst loosening the nut. We recommend covering the exposed positive connections with a suitable insulation material such as a plastic bag or electrical tape. Loosen the negative battery cable nut, then slacken and remove the negative battery cable from the terminal. Secure the negative cable out of the way to avoid accidental reconnection. Loosen the positive battery cable nuts and remove the positive battery cable. Unbolt and remove the battery clamp. Where applicable, pull out the battery vent pipe from the top of the battery and move it to one side. Make sure that the vent pipe cannot be trapped when the battery is refitted. Lift out the battery using the handles provided on top where applicable. Use caution, the battery is heavy. Refit the battery evenly onto the battery tray, then fit the clamp onto the battery. Tighten the clamp bolts securely. Make sure that all the mating battery terminals and cables are clean and will provide a solid connection before connecting the cables. Clean up any metal shavings and debris that is on or around the battery area. Connect the positive cable first. Tighten the cable nets securely. Connect the negative cable last and tighten the nut securely. Smear petroleum jelly on the battery terminals after reconnecting the leads to reduce corrosion. Refit the battery cover. Before starting the vehicle, reach in through the open driver's window and turn on the side lights for a few minutes. This will allow any surface charge on the battery to dissipate. Enter the vehicle and turn the ignition on. Wait a few seconds to allow any ignition control components to initialize and stabilize and then start the vehicle. Note that several drive cycles may be required before full engine performance is restored 